All right, I'm using two lures here. I have the swim bait uh, made by Faceno. And then I'm using the Rebel Popper R. So I'm doing roughly about three casts with the one and then switching over with three with the uh, with the other one. One of the few times I have someone out here with me. Uh, they're not out here with me in the sense that we're fishing together, but uh, out here in the sense of they're on the water at the same time that I'm on the water. Normally I'm through here and I'm lucky if I see anybody. Yes, got my first fish. Uh, uh, he's a seaweed guy, can't let up on him because I don't want him to get away. Let me give myself a little. Here we go. Got a whole bunch of cabbage. I know I don't typically like uh, grabbing these like this anymore, but I don't have a lot of choice on this one. Let's see, I got that out. He's definitely covered with some, some pretty good matted stuff. Let me grab the pliers. I don't think it's in there that bad for him. I think it's mainly just tension that's holding everything in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. What a beautiful fish. Let me clean him off. There we go. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Gonna take a photo with him real quick. Let me put it in photo. There we go. All right. Well, not gonna take too many. I'm gonna let him go, but it's definitely getting fat. You can see that. See you later, buddy. All right, got myself a fish. So I have here the placeno and uh, it's a swim bait. I'm gonna give it a chance. Let's see what will happen with it. It's first time using it. Oh. Yeah, it hung up on something. Let's see. Just like the, uh, the Rebel Popper R. It's all in the presentation and how well your lure looks as to what will respond and how a fish will respond to it. Um, it needs to look natural. Oh, I had a hit. I had a hit. Something bumped it. They throw back out there. Yes. All right. Let's go. Well, we know it'll catch fish. All right. Let me get this one in the net. Don't want to lose it. Ah, there we go. It was one of the ones over here that caused me uh, some problems when I basically got the hook. <laughs> in my finger Ooh. all right let me uh, let me tune you out for a moment and then I'll bring you back right guys there's that beautiful fish caught on the uh, I believe it's a bluegill it's still stuck in the net but that's not a problem I'll get that out this this net gives me issues but you can see right there it has a bluegill looking uh, uh, effect to it I just I really like the look of that and I knew that that was going to catch something but if you look right there that's just a beautiful beautiful fish I'm going to take a real quick picture of it and then I'm going to release this and let this fish go all right so right there beautiful fish caught it literally the first time well i won't say it's the first cast but it was like the second or third cast using this uh placeno um swim bait and you saw right there just caught that beautiful uh 
smallmouth and I'm just going to do a quick look at the uh, size of it since I have the scale right here it's measuring at 12 and a half so a nice one you can see a nice little chunky belly but let's let this beautiful fish go thanks for biting friend all right there's one for the uh, placenta All right, try over here. I'm using my GoPro 8. This is part two. <laughs> Did I keep them? Nope. He got off. I was a little one. If he's on there, he's, he's still on there. Oh, I think he's... Is he still on there? Yes. Look at that little guy. Wow. He's so tiny. Buddy, that, that's almost as big as you. Look at that beautiful little fish. Definitely a heart of a warrior though. Huh? Hold on, let me get you, get you back in. Okay, hold on, let me get you. There we go. Let's put him back in. He was so little, I had barely felt him uh, on there. It was more like I had a leaf or something stuck on it. All right, let's get back in there so we can catch another one. All right, let's see if there's something there in the front. That was nice, guys. Oh. Oh. I can see some nice stuff down below that would have attracted a nice fish. I did get him. Net, <laughs> net, net is needed. All right, there's that big, beautiful, healthy uh, smallmouth. Um, his mouth is in good shape. It was right there. You can see he's going to be fine, but I just needed to take my time and not be in a hurry. So let's put him back in and let's let him get bigger. <laughs> see you later, buddy. Thanks for biting. See what happens got the placenta swim bait it's a lot of weed growth so I'm gonna yeah yeah that definitely will have some issues getting through there I thought it would be really good along this this wall Ooh, yes. All right. The placenta catches fish. Nice, oh, nice. Yes. Let me get myself positioned and then I'll bring you back. All right, there's that beautiful fish. Took me a moment to get it all out, but you could see uh, he's doing okay. Mouth right there be a little sore, but just a beautiful fish. Um, do a quick uh, measuring it is 14 and a half 14 and a half uh, smalling probably easily a pound and a half but thanks so much for lighting <laughs> thanks for getting me wet I think I got one be a big one but yeah, 
got one. <laughs> oh, he just kicked off. That was my fault. I should have grabbed the net. Placeno did his job. I didn't do mine. And that was to net him. All right. Let's see if we can get ourselves a, a topwater fish. Most likely a smallmouth bass. Ooh. Oh man. Oh. Oh, that hurt. For whatever reason, I've I've lost a good number of them. Thankfully, this one or another one came back and got it. I'm not going to make the mistake I made with the other one. All right, yes. Okay. Gonna give myself some slack. I'm going to tune you out and then I'll bring you back when I get situated. All right, here he is. No worse for wear. He's basically a, just shy of 12 inches, but nice, beautiful uh, bass. So we're going to let him go and let him get bigger. All right. Let's get some more. It's quite shallow in here. Might make it difficult to, to get a fish. There was a little one that was swimming over to it. <laughs> that pulled up too quick. Let's see if I can get one on the back side. Yes, all right. I'm telling you, this placento does the job. All right, yes. Yes. I started off slow this morning, but it is picked up and uh, this placento man has definitely made when that top water is not doing its job he has made it work so I'm at this point I believe I'm catching one with the one and then one with the other now that one he came after it but he probably let it go or was trying to let it go after he grabbed onto it but those hooks that are on it are just too good it's this is the smallest one that the placento has got so far but definitely a little beauty uh, very pleased with that i'm going to get a picture and then release them all right i'm just going to get one with that one all right let's put them in the water and let's let them go <laughs> See you later. All right. <laughs> oh. What type of fish? <laughs> wow. Who would have thought I would have caught one of those? That is like really weird. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, there you go. Whoops. There we go. You can zoom. Just, uh, I believe it's just a sucker. All right. Top water sucker. All right. Looking for my fish.
<laughs> and I'll say if I lose that one, that's my fault again. He's the smallest one that this lure has caught. This lure has caught a couple ones this small. There we go. Look at that little baby bass. Thanks for biting. I'll let you go. What a cutie, huh? What a cutie. All right. Looking for my top water fish. <laughs> I think I got him. As long as I don't lose him. I'll get them before I lose them. All right. Yes. Hope he's not hooked too bad, and I can get him in and out real quick. There we go. Get him out of the net. And that's part of the problem. Yeah, once you get the net out of the way, sometimes getting the fish is just like that. Boom, beautiful. What a beautiful fish. Thanks for biting. You can see that. Can we let him go? Let me just double check, see what his length is. He is 11 inches, so. Thanks for biting, Bubba. Go and get bigger. All right. Well. Well, that was the one for top water. Now I'll switch on to uh, the swim bait. And let's see what we can get on the swim bait. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. It popped right out as I got him. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Well, let me see if I can get this one on picture. All right, let's let this beautiful one go. It currently measures at 14 and a half. So just a beautiful uh, bass. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, yes. That was nice. That's what I was looking for. Back to the top water. All right, I'm nearing where I'm gonna be uh, getting out. And right now I'm trying to get myself one more top water fish. And I would like to catch one more topwater fish and then one more on the Placeno um, swim bait. Then that'll be a good round uh, close to uh, ooh, the trip. <laughs> All right, yes. So, well, there's the one fish. That's for the one for the. Uh... Oh, let me make sure I got him right. Don't need another hook. <laughs> so that's one for the popper. Yeah, the popper R. There we go. All right, sorry, buddy. It's taking way too long for me to get this out. Let me see how it went in. Often when it goes in, you can get it out just as quick. But right there, look at that. Nice little pudgy belly on him. Thanks for biting. But definitely a beautiful fish. So going to release him. Let him get bigger. <laughs> All right. Well, that leaves me with only one more fish uh, that I need to catch. And that will be on the placenta. So... I'm really excited. Uh, I knew that this would do well. 
the popper. It's one that I often use and it's one that I enjoy using. But I wanted to test out this placino and see how well it would work. And uh, it has it has not let me down. And uh, I am pretty confident that before I leave here, I will have yielded one more for the placino before I go. So let me put this back and switch on out and I'll bring you back when I get ready for the next one. Right, I have the Pluceno. I'm just basically throwing it in some open water. The water here is roughly about anywhere between two to three feet deep. And I'm figuring there's, there's hidden structure that you don't really see until you're on it. So you really don't know. Uh, most times it's just basically uh, a very shallow, rocky bottom but there's places where you'll find a log or something like that that's laying in the water and right in there that's where uh, you'll find bass so I'm gonna tune you out get a fresh uh, reel and then begin uh, hunting for my one more fish to wrap up this fishing trip all right I got my one last fish yes all right, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time, but that's my one last fish on the Peluso swim bait. So I'm going to be letting it go. I don't know how long it's going to record. All right, going to let this one go. It's my last fish. All right, Peluso did well. Friends, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share with your friends. Have a blessed day.